you, uh, you have mentioned the relations of Greeks and Serbs. And Greeks and Serbs, of course, widely see each other as very close and friendly nations. In your opinion, which historical events contributed to such relations the most? Oh, there are many uh, events, historical events, that contributed to these uh, uh, relations. Uh, but uh, from many centuries, both people were together, uh, had very good relations, had the same religion, had the many uh, elements of their civilization who were the same. And uh, in every bad, difficult time, Serbs and uh, uh, Greeks uh, liked to be together, liked to help each other, and uh, we have seen it in many times. In the 20th century, for instance, I think that we have two great events. It was uh, in the first decades of the 20th century when Venizelos was uh, in government in Greece and had many good relations with the politics and the politicians of Serbia, and they worked together uh, for the, second, the First uh, World War and so on. And then we had very good relations, and we showed it when Serbia had difficulties in the end of the 20th century. And I think Greeks helped very much Serbians, and Serbians also liked to have the Greeks and to collaborate with them in many fields and in many fora. And what do you consider most important for the future of relations of Greece, of Greece and Serbia? First of all, good relations in neighborhood, very good relations. Exchanges between Serbians and Greeks in many fields, for instance, technology. For instance, what we do now here in the university exchanges uh, um, scientific, uh, exchanges of students. I don't know if here in Serbia you have uh, the European program of Erasmus. Yes, you have it. We do. So I think that it is a very, very good way these exchanges between uh, Greeks and uh, Serbians to continue. And so the two peoples know each other better, and especially the young persons. Um, I know also that our churches uh, have good relations and good collaboration, and they can have more good collaboration because we have the same values, we share the same values, and we believe to the same values. So these are things that we can share, we can be together, we can love each other and collaborate in, and collaborate in many, many fields. Just as you said. Of course, the economical uh, uh, way uh, and many other things. Just as you said, you were in Serbia numerous times. And what's the place you like to visit every time you come to Serbia? And is there some place that you uh, would like to visit but you didn't have a chance to? I like very much the center of Belgrade, very, very much. I like all these uh, buildings, all this history that these buildings uh, hide. And I like to visit, uh, to visit again, uh, be in some coffee near the squares and the near uh, the uh, museum or the uh, parliament there wonderful places where I want to go and go again and again. I have not visited, and I think I shall not have time to visit it now, the Tower Neboisa. It was there, the tower where uh, Rigas Fereos was imprisoned and then drowned by the Austrians in the Danube. Uh, it is restored. And it was a very good coalition between uh, Serbia and Greece. Here, another coalition uh, between the two countries. It was restored, and uh, 
I think it's a, a very nice monument, as I have heard. Unfortunately, I had, did not have the, the time to visit it, uh, hoping in the next visit to Belgrade. And you know, Rigas Ferreros was one of the persons for the, uh, deliber- the uh, for, for Greece to become free from the Ottoman Empire, but not only that. Rigas Ferreros is a symbol of the Balkans because he had the idea at that time, 18th century, to have a coalition, a union of the so-called Balkan states, which were at that time under the Ottoman occupation. That is, he had the idea of a European union in the Balkan area. I think it's something formidable, this. And that's why I would like to see where, how this building where he passed his last days before he was executed. We have uh, one street in the center of the city uh, in Belgrade that's called after him, I guess, Ferreira Street. Ah, so? I don't yes. know it. In the very center of, the Bel- of Belgrade, and uh, Athens has the street devoted to Karajanji, as well. Uh, my office, my personal office, is in uh, uh, Constitution Square, uh, address Karajanjevic of Serbia, number two. <laughs> That's a great thing to hear. And as we are moving towards the end of the interview, could you point out a work in your professional career that you are proud of the most? Oh, there are moments that everybody is proud of some moments of its career. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm very proud for my career in the university, the two students I had, the dissertations with some students, which were very, very good works. Uh, these are, uh, it's a prize for the teacher, for the professor, and it's a very good moment for it. I must tell you that a very good moment in my political career was uh, a, a law that I have passed in the Greek uh, uh, parliament and which was uh, for the archives. There was a law in Greece from 1932 about the organization, the way of using the archives and so on. And uh, in the 90s, I changed it how long after that. And we, may, we have made um, an internet, I may say, of all archives that are in the Greek state, in every city, in every uh, city in, of the small areas, and they have a national internet work now. Uh, and this is a very good moment of my career because it still exists and all those who work in these uh, services say that it has been done something very, very good and for the national uh, history of Greece because, as you know, the archives, the archives in every country uh, it's of national importance because you have all the history, the big things, uh, but, but also the everyday things of a, a people. And I'm sure that it was difficult at the times. And in those difficult times, where did you get inspiration from throughout your life, your, your whole life, both your professional and your private life? Both, I may say my professional and my private, because, you know, you have learned in your family, in uh, your, uh, f- by your friends, many things. And so you have inspiration of dialogues, of uh, values, of virtues you have uh, had in your family or you have uh, with your friends and so on. I think so, both professional and uh, private were the sections that gave uh, inspiration for many things. Lastly, could you give 
give an advice or two to our listeners and readers? Oh, I don't have advices to give. Uh, I have only to say that uh, my experience is, and this is, uh, and I must, I can tell an experience to our listeners and readers that first of all, we must become people, persons that study to cultivate ourselves, to have activities, many activities, not only one, not only job, or I don't know what, many activities, so we can do uh, many things. And I think the most important is to have love for each other, love for the human being. If we love the human being, then we can do many things. We can work for the future and for the uh, good uh, things for a society, for persons, for friends, for members of the family. Because uh, everybody has not a big connection with the society, but he lives, he works, he has activities in a small area of friends, of uh, family, etc. They must love their, these persons, work with them for their better future, the future of themselves and of their families and of their uh, friends. I think this is um, a, an experience of life. Dear Professor, thank you for these wise words and thank you once again for this interview. We hope seeing you in Serbia again soon as it's just a huge pleasure and honor to welcome such a great scholar. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to speak with you, to speak for your magazine, your journal, to speak for our students and for everybody who will read or see our interview. Thank you very much. And I must tell you that uh, we Greeks like and love Serbia and the Serbians, and I hope this is a reciproc. Believe me, it's mutual. <laughs>